Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess A. Chelsea, and welcome back to One Bit Heart. When we last left off, we sorta did stuff with the uh, the dog Potete, and now we actually have it that the characters know that Mikado is the head of the hackers. So now we're gonna go confront him. Also, Masane Chan came back. All right, brother dear, we have some things to talk about. Mikado! Ah, hello. Mikado, you're the mastermind? That I am. Very matter of fact, isn't he? I knew it! So how much do you know? Up to you disagreeing with and breaking up with the hackers and trying to unify the world. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I wonder if there's something you don't know yet. Huh? There should still be a mystery lingering. That's something intentionally hidden, isn't there? My guess is still that uh, Mikado is an Ashi from the future, but we'll see. An unsol unresolved mystery. <sighs> this isn't it. An unresolved mystery. Uh, can't read his mind? That's right. I couldn't read the hacker's minds. And? Mm. I read minds using the numbers I see, so it's totally separate from the master program. Yes, indeed. Mm. Mikado. It's getting hard for you to conceal it too, isn't it, Masane-chan? It pains my heart every time I intentionally forget that. Mm. I think it's enough. I know you hate liars, Masane-chan. <laughs> now let's show the answer to that mystery. So you're aware that the hackers had a defense such that your unique interface or interference would not work on them. I made the defense after realizing it would pose a problem if I wanted them to assist me, though it couldn't be perfect because the master program was explicitly built such that only I would be able to understand it. I accomplished that by taking this world that I always see and putting it into a program. Does that answer satisfy you? Yeah! Uh... Still, I changed appearance, name, even the census data. Why was I found out, I wonder? I guess my grossness really does seep out for me. Why? So it's time I reintroduce myself while I'm at it. I guess I'll do it in the old way. Okay, his, his eyes and his markings on his neck turn a different color. Oh, I was right! I was right! Oh, man, I was right! What? I I am Yoshi Nanase. Everyone calls me trash, pest, maggot, spineless, dust, plankton, moron, and all sorts of other things. So you can call me whatever name you like. Why? <laughs> well, because I understood your intention, Misane Chan. How would you two act if I told the past me the truth? I was curious about that myself. Mm. Yes, I'll tell my past self. I suppose you've heard that when a person from the future interacts with their past self, it can greatly impact everything in the future. That is future change, but there's another thing you can do. Future erasure, though it's uncertain how much I can nullify, it's not as if I've ever tried it myself. Well, at least my coming here, and the things I did, that much could be undone, surely. Everything will be as it was before my arrival. How will you do that? By simply erasing myself, the world is made to remain consistent. It quickly fills things in so as not to leave any holes. <laughs> in any event that I'm better off being neither here nor gone, but totally non-existent, should be clear from the situation at hand. Well, I suppose I'll wait at the top of the tower. You need a key to reach the control room at the top. I'll leave one with you two. No one managed to stick with me longer than you, Masana chan I couldn't think of any better way to thank you. <laughs> well, I'll be waiting. Please let me hear your answer. I'll accept any outcome. Mm. I guess this is why you hid things from me? So it was. I mean, yeah, if I'd been told that, and by my future self, too. Uh, what do we do? Hanashi, please keep making friends. Why? That this that is the one thing you can do before going to meet the future Nanashi. What point does this have? 
The reason the Nashi I know, the future Nanashi, became like this, it's like that hacker said, he's missing something. Missing what? It's hard to express in words, but it's important. Um, I am prepared. Please call me when you're ready. Got it. Well. This took a weird-ass turn. But. So... I still don't get the point of the making friends thing, but I knew that it was a trick. I knew it. Now, the question is... What to do now? Alright. Well... How about we save to a separate file for this one? Because... This is gonna be obviously a crucial moment. Obviously, it's going to be a crucial moment, but we're going after the first ending. We'll get to the second one in due to the second and I guess third one in due time. But for now, we are heading out to the I guess the uh, bad ending where we only got the uh, default uh, friends that we made. Have you finished? I see. Well, then let us. What was that? An even bigger shock than before. Could we take a look outside? Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Still can't get enough of the music. Oh, hi! Uh, Miyumi. She's... It seems the same as that hacker, Kirai. No response and blank eyes. Huh. I wonder if this is what happens when your mind is completely taken over. It's definitely a possibility. We'll need to hurry a little quick. To meet the free, well, after I get my words out quickly, to meet the future Nanashi. Right, it'd be bad to leave Miyumi in the sunlight, so let's move her under the shade of the apartment. Now let's go. All right, so just curious, where do I go? Do I go to the big tower? Uh, maybe. Control room. Whoa. Freaky. Alright. C. C. X. If only hacking was really this easy. Nah, not really. But alright. We're moving forward. So far, so good. Oops. Gotta concentrate on this. Are you dead yet? Jeez. That one took way longer than it should have. How many hacks do you have, buddy? Jeez. Creepy music, by the way. Oops, wrong button. Oops. C Z oh. Damn, I got it! Alright. Ah, uh, the music cut out. Alright, I guess we'll go see what's going on over here. I have expect another one to show up at some point, but so far so good. Hey, passed me, Misane-chan, so you came. Well then, would you indulge if I talked a little about the past? 
Of course, I call it the past, but to you, it's the future. Given how I am, I doubt the past me has hope for the future, but just cover your ears if you don't want to hear it. So about the master program, in the future, I was working as a programmer and made the original at the request of some big shots. But those big shots used it to make a society where people were bound in a way. I thought, just what have I wrought? Ugh, stupid thing. Many people didn't want it, I'm sure. There were quite a large number who grieved. So I thought I'd return to before I made the master program. Thus, I made a time machine. Mm. A time machine? You, uh, is that something you just think you want to make and then you make? Well, you did indeed make it, Anashi. Perhaps there's nothing you can't create. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, but no, I'm not perfect. I didn't have much time, so I couldn't be thorough. I wanted to go back to before the program's creation, but instead, I went back eight years. Regardless of the exact date, the master program didn't exist. But thinking about it, I wondered if I could use this to change the future for the better. I consider it a way for everyone to be happy. My dream of world peace hasn't changed since this time, and the how is exceedingly simple. Unified thoughts, but that there could be no conflict. In a blink, all strife and misunderstanding gone. A perfect world, everyone holding hands and smiling. Of course, my assistants pulled all kinds of mischief. <laughs> Still thinking? Even as you do that, the process continues. Naturally, all humanity takes a long time, but not as long as you might think. Right, I guess I should tell you a little more. The moment I came here and interfered with my past self, and when I made the master program that didn't yet exist, the future that I'm from was already erased. No matter what, I will cease to exist. Will I go living the, leaving this master program in my wake, or will everything return to the way it was? That's the only difference. Oh, don't worry about, well, then again. Since it's me we're talking about, I'm sure there's nothing more unnecessary. Though it hurts a bit to see Masana-chan looking so pained, even if she's surely the only one. I should ask you for your answer soon. Pass me, what will you do with the future? I... Right. That's right. The future should be erased. So I'll erase you future me. Okay, that was weird. Okay, huh. Is he strangling him? So even the past me would do this. Future or, future or not, I'm myself, aren't I? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm strangling my pa my future self. This is normal. It's over, Masai Chan. Now the threat of me is gone. It's all back to normal. We can live at ease. Nanashi. Nanashi. Once a few hours passed, the people outside went on as if nothing had happened. If it... If anything had changed, it was just Anashi. No, maybe he was like that from the start. I couldn't change him. Bad end! Yay, bad end! Okay, we go right back to the f the title screen. No, no credits or anything there. That's probably not until I get the other endings, because I believe there's two other endings that I need to get, and that involves me making friends. So I'll be getting to that in the next part. But for now, this is Star Princess HLC saying thank you very much for watching, and have a fond farewell.